You're not gonna believe this. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and cats. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We got an all-time line. Bumble's hot toys and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe. Because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell along, we hunt together. Yes. <laughs> the Funko app is down again! Chris, people have been talking about this for weeks, possibly even a month or two. I know, but I'm surprised that it hasn't been fixed yet. This has gone on too long. You're surprised? I'm very surprised because Funko is using the app in many different ways now. Not only are you tracking your own collection, you're also tracking their new products. You also get notified when new products go up on Funko.com. I haven't noticed any of this stuff happening recently. The thing's broken. It's just broken! This ain't good. Nothing is good over at Funko, as you know by watching our channel. We only talk about the bad things happening over at Funko. Yep, never anything good. Ever. So my question is, when are they going to fix this thing? I asked Google about the broken app, and I got a brand new article that includes a lot of really interesting information. But first, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content. Hit the like button because that helps this channel in a very big way. And check out 7BucksPop.com and buy yourself some Pop Shield Armors to protect your Funko Pops because they are the best protection on the market. Pop Shield Armors are the way to protect your Funko Pops. They're really, really strong. They have a magnetic top and the bottom doesn't fall off like those pesky pop stacks. Well, that's the old one. The new ones don't have the broken bottoms. Like they're solid all the way around. You, you know we're trying to hype up seven bucks a pop no, stock. No, we can, but Funkos are they're still- They're our sponsor. What are you doing? Funkos are still pieces of <laughs> but don't talk about the bottom. Okay, if it's well not... the bottom is on there and it's stronger than ever, way stronger than pop stacks. It really is. One time, I broke a Funko hard stack just by squeezing it, and look at my little arms. They're small. They're really weak. So head over to 7 and buy yourself some Pop Shield Armors. They're the best protection in town, and you can tell that they're Pop Shield Armors because you see the little armor on top. And then you can buy some Pop Shields, which are their soft protectors, and they are fantastic. Head over to 7 At the end of the video, we're going to open up a box that came in that Heather has been keeping very secret. I have no idea what's inside the box, so stay tuned. You do! What do you mean? I got you an item that you wanted specifically, and you know what it is. I got I two of them. Yes. Okay, I honestly have no idea what it is. You will when you see it. You're going to feel so stupid. So the Funko app. It's been broken for a long time, and just last year over the summer, it broke for the very first time, as far as I can remember, in the fact that you couldn't actually use it. It was donezo. It was no longer connected to Pop Price Guide, which is where all the values come from for the app. We asked why it was broken. We never got a clear answer about it, but months later, for some reason, the Funko app came back from the dead. Okay, technically you could still use it, but the values were broken. This time, it's broken. Yeah, it's done. Dunzo. I said dunzo already. You're using it again? Just say finished and like... Finished! Is what's it? a thesaurus? What's... Should we look this up? No, I'm, I'm not looking look up, up anything. Finish thesaurus. Here are some synonyms for finish, complete. End, conclude, close, bring to a conclusion. Complete! No, say end. End. Why am I saying that? Concluded. <laughs> what are we doing? We're I don't talking know what about it anymore. We're talking about how <laughs> it is. It's finished. <laughs> okay. It's done. So if I go on the Funko app right now, I am not able to look at my collection. It doesn't show it at all if I hit lists. It actually does not even show my collection on the list. It just shows the catalog and create a new list. And apparently creating a new list doesn't even help either as far as I know. No. It's completely 
broken. When I try to create a list or whatever, it takes me to my account page. It doesn't do anything at all. All the products are having a hard time loading. And on top of it, like the weirdest part of this to me, as it's been broken, they added a new feature where you can share your collection and share your wish list, which is an incredible feature. Yeah. If you could use it. Funko app says no. And you know why those are such great features? You can share your collection, say if you're trying to like sell a portion of it to a website that buys it say they often ask for like what is your collection and they'll go they'll go through it and look at everything or if your friend's looking for something for you for like a holiday or your birthday, you can send them either your collection or your wish list, and then they'll know what you have or what you want, which makes things so easy. And on top of that, it's especially helpful for those in your life that don't collect, because if they're buying something on the secondary market, they can see on your wish list or whatever how much it was valued at. So they know whether they're overpaying or underpaying. Brilliant. I know. But it doesn't work. Yeah, so it doesn't even matter. What's going on, Funko? What's up? So when I hit Funko catalog, you actually do see the catalog. But if you try to add an item, it takes you to your profile. Yeah, well, not only that, but you can't even see the picture. No, you can't see any pictures. Everything is broken. It's disconnected from PPG, I think. It's not populating any new data. And apparently your collection is gone. For a while, a lot of people were losing their collections. And then there were some, like me, who could still see their collections. Yeah. But now, since the new update, that's completely kaput. It is broken. It was really weird because some people saw their full collection. Other people saw their full collection minus a few items. Other people had random items added to their collections. This whole thing is f***ed up. And you think that Funko would be on top of this because this is important to their business. It absolutely is. I mean, when I am looking for items, if I'm at, say, like a flea market or something, right? We yeah. go to like pop swaps and flea markets and antique shops and stuff. And I'm not at home with my collection. I don't know in my head exactly what pops I have because I have so damn many. But if I see something that's cool and I'm like, oh, I really like that. Do I have it? That's a question that often happens when you have so many pops. I can't even look at it. Exactly. And that's a huge problem. And in fact, I know somebody who actually downloaded this app because they set up tables at flea markets mm -hmm. and they typically walk around the flea markets to buy new product to sell. And they like to know what the value is of the product. Mm -hmm. So they downloaded the Funko app specifically for that reason. It doesn't even work anymore. It's crazy. Before you tell us to use HobbyDB slash PPG, let me cut you off. That shit is complicated. Why you have to go and make things so complicated? Why'd you have to go and make things so awkward? You're trying to think of a song to come back with. I was. I know you're doing. Could. I get you're, you're just you were, you were doing this. Look. <laughs> What you're thinking? HobbyDB slash PPG are really great tools, but I don't like to use them. The reason why I like Funko App so much is because it was so simplistic. Yeah, and we're f***ing idiots. So we are. simple is good for simple people. We're simpletons, okay? Is there a problem with that? No, why are you shouting at them? I thought they were getting defensive in the comment section. I they, was just trying uh, to beat them to the punch. Honestly, they probably are. Hey, you two idiots, who doesn't know how to use Pup Price Guy? Well, me. So just like everything else with Funko, this is super f And I'm not surprised, but I asked Google, why is the Funko app broken? And I got this article, it's ppinukaweb.com, which I have no idea what this is, but it basically just talks about how the Funko app is broken and a lot of people are basically saying that they're having issues as well. But apparently a new patch is what broke the whole damn thing. So is it the extra broken patch? Is it the McDonald's ice cream machine patch? Yes. It says the affected people are now requesting developers to resolve this glitch as soon as possible. And fortunately, a Twitter user claims that Funko is aware of the issue and is currently fixing it. Dish trackers on March the 18th says the app loads stuff, but that's it. They are working on a fix. How does Funko Dis Pop Hunters trackers know that? Because he is Funko. No, but for real, March 18th, it's been long enough. It has been. We're almost going on a month here. Funko! You're gonna hurt yourself. I think I did. <laughs> So on April the 3rd, according to this webpage, due to the ongoing issues, the rate of Funko app has now dropped down to a 1.1 star on Google Play Store. 
Is that really what it is? Well, no, it's at 1.2. And that's because the thing is broken and everybody wants it to get back up and running again. But I do want to mention that there is a Pop Price Guide Hobby DB app out there, but we tried downloading it and it's complicated as f and not only is it complicated, you get a lot of pop-ups in it. Yeah, and it basically is a mirror image of the website. Like, it's not simplistic to me at all. I just can't. It needs to be simplified, HobbyDB slash PPG. Let's make that happen. Let's make the app better than Funko app. But I believe that they can't make an app specific to Funko because Funko already has an app in place. And I know HobbyDB and Funko must have some sort of agreement out there because that's how the Funko app gets its values is from PPG. Well, yeah. How about the Funko app gives PPG full permission to do a Funko only app and run it, but less complicated than their website. So years ago, there was something called Stashpedia, and that's what the Funko app is based off of. We had this app that worked out brilliantly, but now it no longer works. It's totally friggin' broken. So Funko, here's our plea. Get it going, damn it. We need a fix. We are not saying this to deter anyone from using HobbyDB slash Pop Price Guide. This is just our opinion. And if you like it, we're very happy for you. It's just not our cup of tea. My cup of tea? Boba. All right, Heather, what do we have in that little box sitting next to you? I really want to see. I'm so glad you asked. This is the best box opener from Amazon.com. It is super duper cheap. It is not super sharp and it only goes in deep enough to get the tape off the box. Chris is going to link it in the description below so you can get one of your own. And look at this. Whoa, seamless. And guess what? No damage on what's inside. Whoa, all right. Oh my God, it's the little Groots. What is it, I Iwa? I don't know. I, Iwa, I, I honestly, I have no idea what that name is, Iowa as Groot. I'm not sure what that means. You wanna know my favorite part about these is in the glams, these look transparent. Yeah, these are really cool looking. Oh my God, look at that. They are really, really neat. It's hard to see it, but it has like a, I don't know, like a glitter look to it. Yeah, it's like metallic and pearly. Let me see if I can shine a light on it to make it like brighter. So if you look at it, it has sort of like, I don't, what is it, like reflective? It reminds me of like opaly sort of. Yeah, it has like it a has reflective colors. material or something. I can't explain it, it's weird looking. But it's cool. But it is cool, and it's one of the coolest paint jobs I've, I've seen from a Funko product in a very long time. I will say that the group Funko Pops are like the smallest Funko Pops you can buy. I don't know how they can upcharge them the way that they do when you're talking about like this Jiren is the same price, but look how big Jiren is and his, he even has like a background built in. And one of these is going towards our Patreon giveaway, which will be on April the 22nd at 9 p.m. Eastern. So don't miss out if you're a patron already. Check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash castlecast if you want to support this channel a little bit more than hitting subscribe and the like button. You can win some cool prizes like this I will as Groot. And not only that, but we have a huge level four giveaway coming up on the 22nd. It is for Gargoyle Ghastly Prototype. Our Mischief Toys Gargoyle Ghastly Proto will be up for grabs for level four patrons only on April the 22nd at 9 p.m. Eastern. All level four patrons are eligible even if you're unavailable that night. What else was in the box? You had something else. I got two things. Okay. I'm very excited about both, but the first one, I ordered a chance at Chase and I got the Chase. Oh my God. It's an Umbrella Academy Vanya Chase keychain. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I got it because I'm a cheap and I wanted free shipping. I, I absolutely hate the keychain things, but cool. I just got a new car, did you hear? I got a new car!
I think we all did, across all social media platforms. I'm just really proud. What else did you get? <laughs> oh my God. It's my tea that I get. Oh my God, look at his face. He looks, I don't know if he, is he looking angry? No, he looks happy. No, angry? He looks mischievous. Yeah, mischievous, I guess. Oh my God, he's amazing. And he can sit down, his little legs stick out. And look, there's ice on the top. He's a, he's a Thai tea plushie. Oh my God, he's got... This is a little straw a straw. Don't call it that. This is a straw These are so cool, Heather, you did good. Thank you. This is sort of weird. It that has weird. Um, like cardboard in it, I guess to keep it sort of keep flat, flat. Yeah. instead of like... Yeah pillowing up. That's cool though. Isn't he cute? He is cute. It's under the plushies line. I didn't even realize they had a plushies line. But these are great. So check out Funko.com if you want to buy these particular items. I believe they're all still up if you go and check them out. This Groot figure is amazing. I highly recommend him. If you like Groot or if you just like a very cool looking Funko Pop that stands out, he definitely does that. I don't think this video is going to do him any justice. No. You have to see it in person. It reminds me of a binder from the 90s. Like, yes. like that that sort of glittery weird look. Hey, you know what's crazy is he could almost fit in this keychain I know box. he's so tiny. Yeah, That's he's so tiny. weird. Let us know what you think about all of this and more in the comment section down below. And do you want to see the Funko app come back? Of course they do because it's great. It's terrible that it's if been it, broken this long. It they, they, what? It's great if it if it works. Oh well, I, we want to see it work again. So Funko, get on it. Yeah, get on it, Funko. We want the app. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons for Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Star Rosas, March Attack, Tony Madrid, John Akuda, Dave Adler, Fried Peanut Butter and Jelly, Desert Dog, Shadow Force, Loot a Boot, and Mason Bradshaw. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. Okay, uh, guys, thank you so much for staying until the very end of the video. We really appreciate all of your support. Patrons, you guys are amazing, and without you, we couldn't do all the things that we do here. Remember, as always, we are together, guys. We'll catch you next time. Bye.